welcome back to my channel and in today's video we will solve some problems of starter 64 courses okay let's move to the first problem which is water consumption and this is the easy one and you can read the statement recently say filter is doctor and doctor advised safe to drink at least 2000 ml of water each day and safe drank x ml of water today and basically in that input form we have given integer x which is the liters of water drink by safe and if it is less than 2000 we will print no otherwise we will print print yes and again next question which is mario and the broken string and the statement is saying that mario was going to give princess each a string of his of even length n and mario was clumsy and then thus broke the string in the middle and he now has two strings a and b such that a is part a consists of String from 1 up to n by 2 and b consists of from n by 2 plus 1 and up to n, which is this is l and this is r. And Mario is not sure about the order in which he should join the string a and b. He is not sure that part a comes first or part b will come first. And we have to find whether it is guaranteed that Mario will get the same string if he join in any order, which means he join b first or a first and we have to output yes if both the parts join randomly are become equal to s or not and the input format consists of t which is test case n the length of a string and the string okay and we have to output yes depending on the case if we join the string in any order if we get the same string or not and these are the constraints, uh, these are also a small constraint and we, we here is the input. So for this, just to start with first one which is A, B, C, yeah, these are the two part, and this is part A and this is part B. So, if I put part A which means A, B, C, A and B and if I also put part B first, both are equal to S. So, in this case our answer will be yes. So, how can we do that? So, first start with 0 to n by 2 n by 2 and check if a size if a size not equal to in this case this is no otherwise your answer will be yes so yeah let's see the code here yeah this is the code just inputting n and inputting the string taking input and initializing flag with true here my flag variable is true and starting with it writing from 0 up to half of the string and checking at which place if ith character is not not same with s n by 2 plus 1 character for example if this is my string a b c d e f this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. I will start. I will be 0 and checking if i is n by 2. Here n is 6, 6 by 2 plus 1. This is 4. This is 1. 0. This is i. Here i is 0. Okay. Sorry, this is 3. Mm. Here the value of i is 0, so n by 2 which means 6 by 2 plus 0, this is 3. Checking if these two characters are same, this is not same, in this case our answer will be no. Yeah, just checking and changing the value inside flag to false and then breaking the loop and checking if flag is true, is still true, I'm printing yes, otherwise we will print no. And move to the third question which is distinct colors. 
and the statement is saying that there are n different types of colors numbered from 1 up to n and safe as AI walls having the color i which varies from 1 to n and say fill in some boxes and put each ball in exactly one of those boxes and we have to find the minimum number of boxes safe needs so that the no box contain exactly two balls of the same color and the input from it is t number of test cases n denoting the number of colors and n characters denoting the ball of ith color and we have to output the minimum number of boxes required so that any boxes do not contain ball of the same color so here are the input the first one is 8 and 5 ok yeah this is very simple yeah and the input is 8 and 5 which means we have 8 ball of color 1 8 ball of color 1 and 5 balls of color 2 2 and the condition is that no same box contain 2 balls of same color so that we need 8 boxes to store these 8 colors, 8 balls. Okay. So minimum number of boxes is 8. And we can put the these 5 bo balls with these ball, these balls because these are of different colors. So just check the maximum value, maximum value and output it. Okay. And this is the simple one. And yeah. Mm. This is the code just taking input n and making a vector of size n and inputting the balls and sorting the vector in descending order and outputting the first element which is the largest one. And now move to the fourth question which is Lugi and uniformity. And the statement is saying that Lugi has an array A of n positive integers and he wants to make all the elements of the of the array equal by doing this operation first he will choose an index i and divide the element of ai by any of its divisors and in other word dividing means this you can read this and we have to find minimum, minimum number of moves required to make all the elements of the array equal ok and the input quantity is t which is number of test cases and each case consists of, of n which is size of array and n integers and we have to output minimum number of operations required to move the okay minimum number of moves required to make all the elements of array equal and these are the constraints and yeah is quite large okay let's start with this value 44168 this is my array and if I, if you see carefully, these two values are same. These two values are same. This is correct. That's a 16. Okay, 16. This is not 1, 6. This is 16. Yeah. These two values are same. So, I can divide this by 16, by 4, and 8 by 2. Okay. And after dividing my array will become 4, 4, 4 and 4. So making making operation with these two elements with number of moves will be 2. Okay. So first just check if all elements same your move will be 0. Okay otherwise just sort the array otherwise sort sort array mm, let's take another case okay. mm, yeah let's take the case 2 after sorting 2 6 7 and 9 Let's take this array and here all the elements are distinct and this is our after sorting the array look like this so just start with i equal to 1 just start with i equal to 
वन एंड चेक कैन आई मेक दिस एलिमेंट इक्वल टू दिस आफ्टर डिवाइडिंग एंड इफ दिस इज नॉट सेम दिस डू आर नॉट सेम नॉट सेम आई विल काउंट टू मूव ओके सो जस्ट चेक सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री इट मीन्स सिक्स भी आई मोडलो भी जीरो इफ दिस इज जीरो यू विल जस्ट काउंट इट एंड एट द एट एट एनी टाइम इफ नॉट जीरो जस्ट ब्रेक एंड योर मूव विल बी इन मूव ओके सो इन दिस केस दिस कैन बिकम टू दिस कैन बिकम टू After dividing it with three, six divided by three, but this seven can can't become two. So in this case, I will have to change this value again. Nine can cannot become two, so I have to change this value. And after these operations, two are same, but these two are not same. So I have to perform four operations to make all the all the elements one. Okay, that's why I am taking this n, and you can see the implementation here. Yeah, just taking input and making a vector and taking numbers input in vector and just sorting and initializing my flag with one and starting with zero to n minus one and checking if at any instance values are not same then flag will be zero and if flag is zero I understand that <coughs> I understand this. The all the elements are not same, and if this remains one, which means all the elements are same in this case, our answer will be zero, which means zero moves required. Again, starting with now, if this case true, I will just print zero and return. Otherwise, just count initialize count with zero and starting with one, which means I said you start from one this element and calculate remainder with zero the element. Just start with i equal to one up to n, and calculate the remainder if this is equal to zero and these two elements. If these two elements are not same, count it in your move. Count it in your move. Otherwise, if any instance you find this, if b i and b zero remainder is not zero, in this case you have to do n number of moves, and then simply return. And if all the elements are divided by first element in this case, print count. Yeah, that's okay. That's all for today. So if you guys find this video helpful, please subscribe to this channel and also like this video. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.